Shut up and sit down. Hi, hello. I am the Cyber Roof Guru. Thank you for watching. Um, so I want to do a quick video. I recently got the CR10, which you can see. Let's see if I go this way, right there. Um, and compare and contrast some of the outputs I'm getting from the CR10 uh, to the Prusa i3 Mark II. So uh, one of the uh, minions in the family asked me to print this uh, Five Nights at Freddy uh, model here, which is this guy. Um, you can see it's pretty straightforward. Let me uh, zoom in here. Uh, it's a pretty straightforward model. Um, there's not a whole lot uh, going on here other than it does it does move so it's got these kind of joints um, and the arms are actually printed like this you print them sitting down like this uh, with the arm straight up so uh, I had pretty decent results on the Prusa um, it wasn't uh, anything too uh, tremendously difficult uh, about the print on the Prusa I just kind of did my my basic uh, PLA profile for the Prusa and uh, let it fire, didn't really tweak it a whole lot, and it kind of came out just like this. Um, I believe, let me take a closer look at this actually, uh, make sure I know which one is which. Um, yeah, okay, Prusa, CR10. Uh, so the Prusa model, again, I'm gonna zoom in, I'll show you some, some of the issues that I've been having with this Prusa, or at least I thought it was a Prusa. Um, you can see in the back here, I see some of the zitting um, that's on the back right here. Um, it's kind of sort of all over the head, a little bit over the body. Um, some of this is actually from the model. The model is not a very clean model per se, um, but you can see some kind of kind of the, the zitting on the front and the belly there. But it, overall, it's a decent print. Um, so the head kind of twists here, by the way, so you print it in two parts. Uh, so I was like, hey, you know, maybe it's the Prusa. I, I did have to put a raft down. You can see here where the raft connects. It kind of left a, kind of not a great great finish on it. Um, but the, these little legs here, uh, here and here, the, I guess the thighs were coming off uh, while I was printing. And so I printed it uh, with the CR10, which we have here. And you can see essentially the same results. Um, uh, still has the zitting um, uh, and the in the head and the side and the body. Uh, so overall, um, you can see here uh, the difference in the where the raft attached. Uh, the raft on the um, on the CR10 actually came off uh, a little bit uh, better than the Prusa, but overall they were neither one of them were. Uh, what I would characterize as easy to get off by any stretch of the imagination. I've had um, other examples there. Now this is the first print that I've attempted to make with the um, this brown uh, inland filament. I mentioned in one of my last videos how I, I hadn't yet tried it so I figured the bear was brown I would try to print it in brown. So. But other than that, uh, they're nearly identical. Uh, both of these were sliced in, simplified 3D, um, and printed at 100%. And so they actually turned out pretty well, uh, in my opinion. Uh, I still need to figure out what's co what's contributing to this this zitting um, on both of the prints. I don't know if it's simplify. I don't know if it's my setting. Um, what I can tell you. Um, all right. So uh, I did try printing Freddy here uh, on the the CR10 using the the Prusa i3 Mark II uh, profile. I just took the STL or the uh, G code that I had in the Prusa, stuck it on the on the CR10, and printed this guy. <laughs> um, it is um, horrific. Uh, I tweeted this out actually uh, last week, and you can see on the. On the head, I pulled the head off the bed. Um, it was uh, printed right next to the body. You can definitely see um, uh, <laughs> where it was uh, <laughs> sort of attached. If you want to look at that way, um, let's see if I can. Uh, there we go. You can see how uh, just terrible it is. Um, so, uh, what I can tell you is um, uh, the retraction settings, um, obviously. Uh, have uh, a lot to do with the quality of the print. Um, obviously, the CR10 and the in the Prusa um, need different retraction settings. In fact, if you look at the back here, 
Um, this is the uh, raft. I simply cannot get it off at all. It's just attached, which uh, I, I'm attributing that to the actual uh, the retraction settings not pulling back in the filament. So it's it's fused in the back there is what I'm assuming. Um, I was going to spend some cycles to try and see if I could uh, get it off, but this is kind of just trash, <laughs> uh, which is unfortunate. Um, uh, the print did finish. Um, the, uh, you can see the raft in the bottom of the head here again. Um, I peel it off. You can see the, the bottom of the raft comes off, but uh, it leaves, um, kind of leaves the, what I'll call the first layer of the actual raft in intact. Um, and then you can see inside there, there's just a ton of stringing um, going on. Um, let me, you can see that pretty well. Huh? Um, just a ton of stringing in there. Uh, not not a useful print. Um, so what I would say is if you don't have the profile for the CR10 and, and you haven't uh, tweaked it, um, you're probably going to get something like this. The, uh, the, pr the profile I'm using actually I got off the Facebook page. Uh, I don't think it's Uncle Jesse's uh, profile. Uh, I, I imported both of them and actually I was just comparing them and really the only differences I could find were the, the wipe setting uh, between Uncle Jesse and the one that I'm using. So I'm going to probably play around with having it on and having it off, uh, see what the difference actually is with the wipe, uh, but the 5mm retraction versus the, I think the 1 or 0.8 uh, for the police auto definitely makes huge difference. All right, so that's it. Um, uh, you know, uh, this video is longer than I wanted it to be, but <laughs> if you like it, please give it a thumbs up. As always, if you don't, I would appreciate a thumbs up anyway. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Um, and if you have any questions, leave them down below in the comments. And I look forward from uh, to hearing from you. Thanks, everyone.